Hi everyone, it's Gail with a little bit of an extra bonus video. Um, this is the December kit from Lori at Piles of Paragraphs. So I am going to make a little tag with, with this. Um, yes, Lori is Piles of Paragraphs on Etsy, so I will have the info below. Let's see what we have to work with. We've got a card stock. We've also got kind of a um, parchment paper type, some yarn, a couple different things of yarn, different papers, little poinsettia, and then these three papers, and then this um, bit of... It's kind of like mm, chiffon with, it's got some fun, um, like diamonds in it. <laughs> okay, so starting at the beginning, I guess we'll make, make ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a tag shape here. Oh, you know what? I just kind of had an idea strike me with this one. What if we kind of cut that in half? Ish, half ish, or yeah, I think half. How big is this? This is three inches, probably. Not quite three. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go two inches here. Okay. So that's an extra right now. Let's see. What I was thinking is it would be kind of fun to have a side pocket on the tag. So I'm going to cut this. And... I think I'll cover this with this. Okay. Sort of come together in my mind. Let's see, I gotta have a little glue page here. Okay. Let's see, I am going to put the glue on the card here. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> okay, well. glue. Yes, that's the correct side. <laughs> For a minute, you know, my spatial failed me, which you know happens all the time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's put this. Just get it right on the edge there. I don't know, maybe it's not quite straight. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, it doesn't quite reach to the top. That's okay, we'll put something on the top. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna go there. I wanna put a little thumb thing in there. That would be thumb hole, or pull, as some people call it. All right. So I'm going to put that in like that. Okay, so here, you can put that, but then... this one oh yeah that's that maybe I'll go there and there okay that'll work it's just always kind of my goal to use as much of the paper provided as possible it's always fun because you know it's papers that I don't necessarily have. Okay, I'm gonna do this. 
And I think I might take this and go here. Ish. <laughs> Let's try that again. Cut off a little bit. Okay, and then, so we got that there. Now let's put this one on here. Only need to have glue up about that far. Okay. that. Okay, and then cut this off and I'm going to use the top of it And then that is going to go on like that. And we're just going to glue the three sides of it. Make that four with the tag shape. <laughs> Do the four sides of it. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. So th where are we at with this? Let's see. I need to cut this so that it's a little more even at the top. Like that. And I'm going to need a little more glue on that one end. It wants to poke up. Okay, then what do we want to do with our shiny um, chiffon fabric stuff, this stuff? Oh yeah, we could put that there. I'm thinking about the um, journals that I'm doing at the moment and thinking what would I like to put on. I mean, I could put on just this, but I don't know. Let's see. Um, because you can certainly adapt these tags of the month to a project that you're working on, you know, doesn't have to be, oh my gosh, look at how cute they are. Could I put them there and the flower up there, or is that too much? Let's cut out the flower, because irregardless, I'll use this flower in my Christmas, use smaller scissors, in my Christmas um, decorating. trim here.
Sorry, I'm not the fastest fussy cutter in the universe. No, <laughs> I don't, don't want that there. Maybe, maybe a, like a label or something. No, 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 and no. I could also do Santa, but I like the little kids a little bit better. I think with the, with this, yeah. Okay, and then, Some of the labels. There's a little. This one looks more. Is that too big? That's too big. Of course it is. Just because I want to use it. That's okay. Just cutting the edges off of this. This is a um, label from Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. And this is from a jewel design. I like that. Okay. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to adhere that to there. This is one of the journals that I'm starting on next, so that's why I thought, why not? Why not use the cutouts from something that I am putting together right now. Let me get my spatula. Okay. Probably want to distress the edges of the image just a slight bit. So now let's get them down. Cute. Now this has a label back, but I'm not sure that it will stick on the um, fabric, so I'll go ahead and put some glue on it just to make sure we need it to stick stick. Now I was thinking about what I want. Yeah, I think I do. So I think what I'm going to do is go like this. Stick that on there, and then I'm just gonna do that and then stick it on there. Ooh, just barely fits. <laughs> Yikes! Okay. All my my bits off here. Okay, now now we can do this. And then what I'm thinking is perhaps there is a um tag in the in the kit that would go in the side maybe okay so there's that let's see um what did I do with them right here 
I just wondered if there was some little, oh, this one's cute. This is a, this is a, um, an envelope, but I think this would work. So let's ink it up. And we need to ink our tag anyways. I'm going to leave this unglued because someone might want to use it for journaling. And it gives them that option then. If they don't want to use it for journaling, they can go ahead and um, give it a little bit of glue and no biggie. But keeps the option open, you know? Okay, so let's see if, now that we've done all that, if it fits okay. It does, it fits just fine. Do I like how it looks though? Let's look at, let's look at what else we have in here. I didn't mean to take all day with this video, but, oh, that's cute. I like that better. Okay, that's all right. Now the uh, envelope is inked for later. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, every once in a while it's nice to just leave things open and then whoever gets that piece of ephemera there. Good to go. Okay, I'm going to stick that in there. Part of me is wondering, this little piece of paper, which is kind of, uh, it's very thick. It's like a photo paper, kind of. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to make it into a journaling card, too, and stick it in the back here. Okay, I like that out. This one in further. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my, I have a new little pouch, it doesn't close, but it goes in my drawers, that I got at the Museum of the Rockies gift shop when we were there with our kids and grandkids. Listen to the wind, it talks. Listen to the silence, it speaks. Listen to your heart, it knows. It's a Native American proverb. So... But I'm using it to keep my punches. And this is just, I think this punch is on my um, favorite things on my website. And so, just set those aside for a second. Um, I do want to do a little bit. Do this side too and then I'm going to use the yarn in the hole I think okay oh there's three pieces of yarn there's not just two there's three so let's put those in like so, and then thread ourselves through like that. Deciding, do I want to have a bow? There's plenty to do a bow if you want to. Oh, just a little hint along the way. As you're tying, if you make your little and then you go over the top and push it through. Your um, your bows will be on top. Your strings will be on the bottom. It's really hard to get this through because these are so are so hairy. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. If not, I'll leave them hang. 
Ha. Oh, no, nope, didn't do it. I'm going to leave them hang. Too, too fussy. So these are the little pieces I have left. I'll put this in with my ephemera and I'll use it on an... Oh, no, I sure won't. How about... What if I did that? But then I don't want it sticking out. Okay, never mind. Because I like just the red. Okay, so there you have it. That is the December piles of paragraphs. That's my take on the tag. So thanks, everybody. Um, you can go on over to Lori's shop piles of paragraphs from the link in the description box. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a grateful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.